Welcome to a CBT Micro Nugget. Today I'm going to show you how to run an X11 or X Windows program from a remote server over SSH. Now it's kind of cool. It's a little bit like uh, VNC where you remotely control a computer but it's completely different in that you're not really controlling the remote computer. You're actually running a GUI application on your local machine that's on another machine far away over SSH. Confused yet? All right, let's straighten that out. Let's go to the computer and see what I'm talking about. Okay, here I am on my trusty Ubuntu box. Now this is just standard Ubuntu 13.04 and I made a shortcut here to the terminal window where all cool things happen. Now here, obviously I have X Windows running. I have a remote server in Austria that doesn't have a monitor connected to it and it's difficult for me to go to Austria to hook up a monitor. So if I wanted to run a GUI application, what would I do? Well, I could do VNC and control the whole thing remotely, but what I would rather do is just run one application. So let's do SSH, secure shell, and the flag that the magic flag is dash capital X, which means tunnel X traffic or X11 or X Windows traffic through this SSH connection and allow us to run X11 applications from the remote computer on our local computer. So I'll type in the name of my remote server, type in my password, and for all intents and purposes, it looks like just a regular login. I'm logged into my remote computer. And that's true. I can do things like I would normally do them with the one exception that I can run an application that requires a GUI interface. And normally this would say, well, you can't run this program. You don't have a GUI installed. You're, you know, you're on a SSH machine or you're connected via SSH. However, because of that dash X flag up here in SSH, now I can run XIs, one of the oldest X11 applications, but still pretty cool. I can run that from Austria. So this is a program running in Austria on my local computer here is where you see the interface here in Michigan. And it's just kind of a neat way. You can do this if you need to run a configuration program or test something remotely that you need GUI access or a GUI interface for. It's kind of cool. Hit control C, it exits just to make sure that you know there's nothing up my sleeve. I'll disconnect from the remote server. And if I try to run XIs from my local computer, it says it's not installed. So you can be assured that it was running from that remote computer. That's all it takes to run remote X Windows programs on your local X Windows machine. I hope that this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.